This game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore. Good. Andrew, did you remember to bring your permission slip? No. Nope. Remember to bring my diapers, though. Oh man. Oh, yeah. If uh, I get an angry uh, message from your mom uh, saying you got night terrors... Wait, this is... Oh, I thought this was made by Umbrella. Like, <laughs> isn't that a coincidence? Wow, that was a really good foot... Oh, shit. Oh, God, this looks like it's going to be intense. Like, intense? Because zombies like camping. Oh. I don't think that's even remotely <laughs> accurate. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we're playing Resident Evil 2 uh, this Halloween. We didn't even play one! Uh, <laughs> well, I wanted to play one, but long story short, I didn't unlock uh, everything in the uh Wait, what, PC no, version. what difficulty are you playing on? Uh, normal, which is technically the harder of the two. Extreme, hardcore, butt reapage. Honestly, I think the only difference between normal and easy is that easy just gives you like 10 billion bullets off the start. Oh, so you have less resources at the beginning? Okay, let's listen to this shit. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Inc. Who also made this game. <laughs> Experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation in the affair. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of Stars members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. So basically, uh, that was the plot of the first game. So, not a whole lot was missed, to be honest. Uh oh, but now they're back and bigger than ever. Actually, yes. <laughs> so. You know he's a badass before you see him because you're riding a motorcycle. Oh wait, it's a girl. <laughs> Get fucked. Wow, she's pretty badass. If you say it with a black woman's accent, then it's badass. All right, so we're in deserted city. I love deserted cities. My favorite dessert is Sundays. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. That's that. Ooh, wait, what's going on with her face? Are those supposed to be sideburns? Those go down for days. No, it's just supposed to be like, uh, the... I don't know what <laughs> the would girl the... hairs. Yeah, girl hair bits. Girl hairs. Uh oh. What happened to this guy? Yeah, oh, the had... drunk knight. <laughs> yeah. One too many tonics. Oh, oh, he bit him. Oh, shit. I'm sure nothing will happen. No big deal. You don't report that shit. You just drive off in your tractor truck thing. I don't drive much. <laughs> Hello. Um, What's she stopping for? Some sweet ass donuts? Maybe. If I had entered an abandoned shop and nobody was there, I'd rake in all the donuts. I'm fatty. <laughs> oh, by the way, how's that uh, lifting thing going? Oh, it's going good. Lots of old. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot to ask, uh, do you know much about the Resident Evil games? Not about the games, but I've watched most of the garbage movies. Oh, oh shit, there's more of them. Man, why did you have to watch the garbage movies and not the games? Because <laughs> now I'm making up for and watching the apparently good games. Oh, there's something bad through that door. Don't go through that door. Oh, headshot. Boom. <laughs> wow. Clean. It would have been great if it was just, uh, Leon just shot her right there. <laughs> Right in the face. Alright, so now we're escaping. Farmer Farmer Brown zombies are after her. What's there? Oh, the car? Yeah, so... They're making their uh, daring getaway. Do you start controlling the game now? No, no, no. One more cutscene. Holy fuck. Hey, you need a lot of setup to, uh, uh, for zombie We're games. like a 12 hours in now. They've basically fucked 12 times. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Claire. Uh-oh, zombie truck driver's coming. Nah, I'm sure he's fine. He's probably passed out on the wheel. What's in the glove box, baby? Uh-oh. Better take it with you. Shoots through the fucking Oh my god, where did he come from? It's Conan O'Brien. Conan, what are you doing back there? 
It's just the same model uh, that they used for Leon, but he's a zombie. No, you can't, can't fool me, 100% Capcom. Conan O'Brien. Oh man, Conan just got smashed. You okay? Still in one piece. He's like, that was oh shit, that would be scary to see. For some reason it looked like a different guy in there for a split second. Well, who knows, it could have been. Oh fuck, yeah. I forgot everything in movies and games explodes violently. If it just gets touched the right way. Tickle tickle. Wait, so they're gonna split up? Well, they have to only... because the truck uh, blew up in front of them. <laughs> Literally, there's probably like a hundred ways around this truck. Oh my god. They're apart by unescapable destiny. Oh shit. This is the beginning of their worst nightmare. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, now we playing the game? Yeah, so right at the very beginning, they just show... Uh, Where show are the guns? <laughs> I am holding one, but the thing is, is that this is survival horror, so you got to save your ammo and bullets for when you really need it, and you don't need it at that section. You we just need it to blow the door hinge off this door to get in. Oh. <laughs> Oh shit, this man's gonna shoot through the crossbow. What are you doing here? He means business. Don't shoot! I'm a human! <laughs> He's thinking about it. <laughs> Wait, I didn't know crossbow is like cocked like that. Sorry about that. Babe? <laughs> Give me the hoagies, baby! <laughs> Give me your hoagies. Oh yeah. Let's lock the door. I ain't got no clue, oh. darling. By the time I notice something's wrong. The entire city was infested oh, with zombies. He must be a heavy sleeper. <laughs> but don't you worry, girl. No. You'll be safe in with me. I'm keeping a close eye on things. And that's our cue to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, this guy's gonna <laughs> rape us. It's better to get killed by zombies and get raped by this guy. Anyway, there's some oh, bunch nice. of hidden uh, handgun bullets. Oh, that's uh, very important. Home. There's nothing here, 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 over here. Yeah, nothing, there's a nothing, lot of hidden nothing, 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 nothing. More guns. <laughs> okay, so what kind of. Oh, fuck. Oh, he just got molest. Oh, oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, they're. They're. Anim their models are blending into each other. <laughs> they're becoming a super zombie. Becoming is it the, like uh, every time we go through a door in this game, we see this animation? Uh, yeah. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Well, it's actually not too bad because it creates a little bit of tension just oh, because... Oh, shit, get out of there! It's like you don't know what's going to be... There's no way out! You don't know what's going to be uh, coming around the corner. Oh, hello there. You want out? Oh, that's my cat. Fluffy pussy! Yeah, you want out, pussy cat. <laughs> Free the pussy. Sorry about that. Throw a basketball but at him. You, you can't. Uh, you're very... The main characters in the Resident Evil games are very selective as to what they will and will not pick up. Run him over with a lawnmower. No, what do you think this is? <laughs> Dead Rising? Yes, this is the early sequel to Dead Rising. It came Actually, out many years before Dead Rising, so therefore it is in the same genre. What did she do? She Oh, she there's bullets in the garbage can. Welcome to America. <laughs> um... Actually, I forgot to mention this during our Dead Rising Let's Play, but um, the whole design of that game was... Are oh, you stabbing him in the face? Yeah, with a knife, which oh, is nice. the shittiest weapon in the game. Oh, but you still worked. Oh, he just gets up and shrugs it off. Yeah, it takes like a hundred gajillion swipes just to bring down one zombie. Well, this is and... not very effective, is it? No, not at all. Keep poking. I just oh, wanted to get them all down so I could run past them so you don't get touched this is basically a game about don't let them touch your booty exactly oh. that's survival horror in a nutshell survival horror don't let them touch the booty edition but anyway um no but when capcom was designing dead rising um <laughs> they made it a uh con a conscious decision to uh show us every door that opens no uh dead rising made it so that they uh uh, like, Dead Rising was going to be the antithesis of absolutely everything that Resident Evil was, so... Um, oh, wow, she's... Oh, why you kicked your head off? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, zombies that are down like that, you can uh, Just give them the them. boot! 
Oof, we're gonna. She's basically going pro with those kicks. Look at that, it went flying across the bus. She's Jax, like that Jax one from Mortal Kombat 9? Yeah, where he like pounds them into the ground and pops their head off with a nice, beautiful kick punt into the outfield. I liked uh, the T Rex one. Well, that one's stupid. <laughs> you can't do that with someone's arms! <laughs> yes, you can. Okay, favorite type of Mortal Kombat fatalities are the ones where it's brutal, it's 100% gonna kill them, just the first part of it, and then they do one more thing that's just like the icing on the cake. I'll give you two examples, go look them up later. The Tremor Fatality for Mortal Kombat X, the one with the stalagmites, mm -hmm. where he pulls them up and goes two, 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 and three, there's one in the chest, one in the head, so he's gonna die 100% because he got a stalactite sticking through his head. And then he walks up and he turns his hands into boulders and just like smashes their head into a million pieces. Dynamite. That was a great fatality. Other one I really like is Raiden or Rain's fatality in Mortal Kombat 9. He like makes a bubble at their legs and then like crushes their legs so they basically like their legs just turn into mush. Mm -hmm. So they're just a torso on the ground. So they're dead right at this point. And then he makes like a water jet out of his hand and slices their head off. Clean. Those are some cool fatalities. I don't like the ones where they're just, like, retarded. Like, kicking off the head like that. <laughs> oh, shit, it's Will Smith. <laughs> is it actually Will Smith? Wow. Do you know Will Smith's gonna be the genie in the Aladdin movie? Yes, you mentioned that last yeah. time. <laughs> Fuck, I'm crazy. I told my mom that. She's just like, really? She's like, could they get someone better? I was like, wow! <laughs> wow! So racist. <laughs> wow. She's savage. What happened? I... About two months ago, You've been here for two months? Incident involving these zombie like Just say zombies, man. In a mansion no, no, no. Just say zombies, man. Chris no, he was uh, just saying that two months ago there was that zombie incident that happened, which was the first game. The first whole game? So he's he's the extra, um, what do you call it? Oh, what's it called? The black guy that dies five minutes in the movie? No, 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 no. What's it called in like a game or a movie? Exposition. He's like the extra exposition, because we just got the exposition at the beginning of the game telling us what happened. Now he's the black exposition telling us from a black guy's perspective. He's like, so I was there and I was there, man. And man, you should have seen it. There was guns blazing. There was people dying. Oh, Lord. And then he dies. Tell me he dies. No, he looks okay. I mean, he's missing his stomach. Wait, is he aiming the gun at her? Yeah. Wow, what a bitch. Because he wants uh, her to get out of here. What's he going to do? Blow his brains out? He wants her to leave? Because he doesn't want her to see the, ug the ugliness that is about to occur. Bang! Nope, didn't happen. Yeah, for some reason he locked the door like a jackass, which is... So not helpful, because that would have been a great, uh, shortcut. Hmm. So he just screwed us over. Door lock service. Oh, wow. What are we doing right now? We're playing around with computers. Welcome well, to yeah, the 90s, Well, yeah, because, ladies. uh, we have to use the computer to unlock those doors. This is way too advanced for the 90s. <laughs> Do what computers did in the 90s? Type! <laughs> That's about it. Alright, where are we going now? Ooh, this looks promising. So this is There's the... There's nothing in there? Nothing, but we can put stuff in there. Oh, this is one of those, like, places that you can put your shit in and then you can come back later. Like, not later, but, like, there's other places where it will just give you back your inventory later? Yes, it's the magical ah. TARDIS, uh, yep, box. Yep, yep, those are very useful in these kind of games. And we're not going to take the first aid spray, because first aid sprays are for suckers. No, you you have to. You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, um, if you use first aid sprays, it actually lowers your grade at the end of the game. Well... And I'm going for the A ranking because I'm badass like that. What's the best ranking you can have? Uh, technically it's A, although uh, in the Japanese version it's S. See, Japanese people know what's good. S, that's <laughs> the fucking best tier there is. Oh, God, what's this thing? It's a fucking... Oh, this looks familiar. This it, looks like the guy from the movie. It is from the movie. Yeah. They're called Lickers. Yeah. And they actually... Oh, I, why she's scared of him? You know what he's gonna do, baby. <laughs> Give him the hoagie. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow, he moves pretty fast. Yeah, they are jumpy, fast uh, motherfuckers. Uh, but to be fair, that one attack, that lunge attack, is 
the only one you really need to worry about because it just uh, does shit tons of damage. All the other stuff he does just kind of tickles you. Where is your health bar in this game? You have to uh, pause the menu. You have to pause the game and uh, look in your inventory to see it. Whoa. Why are we going back again? I've. I'm. Technically, I prefer playing as Leon, but uh, for this playthrough, I'm going with the, like, quote, canonical uh, uh, ending of this game, so we have to play as Claire first. So Canonical, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Our first made up word of the playthrough. What are you talking about? Canonical! That's a, it's a word. I guarantee you that's not a word. <laughs> By the way, I forgot to turn on auto aim. So that way uh, we can. Oh, actually... you're getting dinked on! Yeah. Oh god, you're. Oh god, molestation! They're all wearing the same shirt! <laughs> all the guys, they all shop at Walmart! <laughs> There's a deal on khaki shirts and green shorts. But anyway, so the events that have happened in the, uh, the <laughs> Claire A, Leon B playthrough is what's uh, considered canon. Uh, so that's why we're doing that first. Why is the other stuff not considered canon? Uh, because it's, the events that happen in that version are slightly different. So yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> I'm so confused though. It's the same game! Yes and no, there are some uh, storyline differences. I am immensely confused right now. Well, Pick up that worry. plant! Don't worry, it will... Uh... What is it? Green herb? What are you gonna do with that? Smoke it? Oh man, way to make uh, the same joke literally everybody who's played this game. HA HA HA! <laughs> I am a comedian! I will be here till Thursday! <laughs> no, but, uh, no, but actually, what do you use the green herb? Uh, they're used to heal you. So. <laughs> heal you! Well, I see what you got going there. You got a nice little roll-up going on. Mm-hmm. Heal you. Mm -hmm. But anyway... Take away some of that pain. <laughs> yep. Yep. All right. All right, so Claire's gonna smoke a fat doobie and shoot zombies. <laughs> Um, why, but why is it acceptable to smoke pot, but not acceptable to take the first aid spray? Okay, so... She would definitely go to jail after this for all the pot smoking she's about to partake in. Uh, so, <laughs> it's acceptable because the first aid spray uh, fully heals you, and it's really easy uh, to, like, find and use. Whereas with the herbs, you have to find each one individually, and you have to combine them in order to increase their strength of how much they heal by. Oh, wow. So Why are we blocking one. this door? Uh, no, it's a puzzle, you see. Uh, basically, we have to get these two statues uh, onto those uh, brown plates. So that way they're facing towards the middle statue, and then we get an item. And then the big middle statue grows horns and turns into Hellboy. Basically, mm, not like exactly. Anyways. But, um, oh yeah, about that liquor from the uh, movie. I remember in the special uh, features for that movie, they were uh, boasting about how they uh, took that scene from the game. That, uh, you know, the one that uh, we just saw. Yeah. Yeah, they took that and they put it in the movie and they were. Uh, acting like they're so like proud for doing it. Wait, so just the liquor crawling around on the roof? Crawling around on the roof, and the guy looks up and notices it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's on a train, though. I think no, but the end of the movie takes place on a train, and then the liquor's in part of the other. Movie. Yeah, it's yeah. okay though. That movie wasn't okay. So I watched recently rewatched Alien vs Predator that I had initially stated that I absolutely hate that movie. So I watched it again. And I realize it's not half bad mm -hmm. compared to some of the other crap that's in the Alien and Predator franchises. Specifically, The Predator, which is a big pile of shit. No. It just, there you go. So, The Predator is a big pile of shit. Alien Resurrection is a big pile of shit. And Alien v AVPR is a big pile of shit. So there's three, one entry in each of them that's a big pile of shit. But AVP isn't half bad. I give it like maybe like a 6.5 or a 7. On a good day. What the hell is this? Okay, so this is the uh, Stars members team. And what's weird is that there's like 20 of them in that picture, but there's only like five desks in this room. Listen, they so... share. <laughs> Sharing is caring. 
What is it's it? trash. It's trash. Stop. It's trash. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing about this desk, right? There's an Easter egg. So... If you push it 6,000 times, nothing happens. <laughs> Almost. Uh, you have to search it uh, 50 times, and then oh, you get something. God. Nothing's in the desk. No, there's something in it. You just have to search it 50 times. Oh my god. Her animation model doesn't know what the fuck to do. It's like breaking the game. Nah, I'm just moving. <laughs> there we go. Got oh it. wow, what's this? Some film. What's it of? Oh, what's this? It's a fax. It's a fa- It's an incoming fax. <laughs> What kind of museum are we in right now? Mm. Let's so see. basically, blah, 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 blah. what this is saying blah, blah, is blah, 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 blah. that um, beware of the uh, the chief of the Raccoon City the Police Department because he was a rapist. Was he actually a rapist? Uh, well, the thing said that um, he was convicted of two rapes in college. Wow, but, rape! Uh, the he was found uh, not guilty. I'm there wasn't feeling a evidence. theme now. <laughs> Some there's a guy in the shop that wanted to show you a good time. There's this convicted or convicted rapist. Oh man! Now I think that's the theme of this game. It's not Resident Evil. It's Rapist Evil. It's Dude. President Evil. No. It's President Schmeagel. President Schmeagel. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So where are we off to now in our journey? We're going to gonna develop the film so we can find out what the Easter egg is. The ten millionth door. All right, so off we go to the red room. All right, we're in. Start your working, lady. Was that a shotgun in your inventory? Uh, is that? no, that's a grenade launcher. Okay, what? What? What police department has grenade launchers but not shotgun? That's it. It's just the uh, uh, picture of uh, uh, Rebecca from the first game, but in a basketball uniform. That's really exciting. <laughs> Smoke the pot! <laughs> well, it is when you find out she's 18. Ew. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Off we go again! Into the stairwell. Except we're leaving now. We're gonna go through this. Well, we have to go nice. all the way back to the very beginning. I'm gonna comment on every door we go through. That one's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! If Who are... thought this? Oh God! Look, it's got four arms. It's probably no, it's... two people. Oh God! There's another bunch of arms. Uh oh! Getting strong rape tones here. <laughs> but actually, where's Pyramid Head in all this? That's Silent Hill. Yeah, he's in a different game right now. <laughs> he's too busy raping all those people. What was that? Oh Something's yeah, wheezy. Give him some of the ganja. <laughs> No, it's the oh, liquor. it's the liquor. Oh god, he's oh what the fuck? Where's the splash damage? There is none. Oh my god! <laughs> you literally point blank shoot him with the grenade launcher, and nothing happens. That's magic. It's the best type of grenade launcher. So is he one of the hardest enemies in this game to subdue? Not really. If you have uh, like a halfway the decent weapon, like a shotgun or the grenade launcher or whatever. Uh, he's super easy to take care of. Oh, I can see that. He just got absolutely dunked. <laughs> oh, we're about to go through the double D's. Double doors. <laughs> wow. And we, so that control. unicorn medallion, we put it right here. Okay, and then what does it do? It makes a secret entrance. Nope, we get a key. <laughs> wow, that's lame. <laughs> you want to know where we use that key? Up the butt. <laughs> We have to go all the way back to the uh, star's offices and just go slightly uh, further past it. <laughs> I love backtracking. Or <laughs> uh, uh, get used to it. Resident Evil is like 99% backtracking. <laughs> through the double D's, back through the hall of rape hands. Do the rape hands come back out again like they're going to scare us? No, no. Or are that, they always just, out now? No, that's just a one-time thing oh. when you're coming back. This game needs more rape hands. All right, now we're in. We're in the. Oh, this looks like a serious door. It's, it's really ready for to not let anyone in. Oh, I can see why. It's a mess in there. No one's cleaned in here for years. Anyway, so the patrol report is just saying that uh, they found a weirdo with some C4. Nice. 
Why is that important to us? Do we want that C4? Uh, yes. We're gonna blow well, up some bitches? Not exactly. We need it to basically... Are we escaping right now? Yes. A crank! Ratchet? Where's Ratchet? We need Ratchet <laughs> too, otherwise the reference won't be there. There are no Ratchets in this game. Fuck. Well, only Cranks here, I guess. Even um, though it's Ratchet and Clank. My joke's not funny. <laughs> All right, now we're off through door number... Bachelor behind door number two. <laughs> He's black. <laughs> Get it? Ah, because there's a black hole. There's nothing there. So racist. <laughs> wow. You laughed. You're a terrible person. So I taught some guy a trick at work today. He was trying to hook up a little fan thing to test to see if it was working to a 9-volt battery. Right? So, so you, you just said, uh, here's what you do. You put the battery in your mouth and it, you get a little shock. No, <laughs> no, no, no. So this is what he was just like, how do I know if I connect the black or the red to the positive or to the negative? And the, uh, it's, uh, listen, no, I have to tell you the secret. Black and then to brass. Shut and... up. Listen. So the secret is this. Black to so brass. The big lead on the battery, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's a small lead on the battery. The big lead gets connected to the black, and the small lead gets connected to the red. You see how I'm going with this, with the big to the black? <laughs> <laughs> yep, now you're never going to forget it. And then it turned out Andrew was wrong, and the whole factory burned down. The no, end. it's fine. The <laughs> fan worked fine, and it was fine, and I put my finger in it, and it didn't even hurt. The end. Alright, now we're off. Oh! What ha- Oh, God, it's a big- What the- I was a little girl. Oh, and the, the police zombies gonna give her a whole big can of rape. Anyway, <sighs> just give him the old slipperoo and... Where'd she go? Uh, she went through... Incoming cutscene through the door made out of diamonds. Diamonds are a girl's ass. Is that Leon? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Leon, you sulking fuck. Come here. Why are you so sad, man? Yeah. yeah. Have you seen a little <laughs> He's like, yeah, I see one right now, baby. <laughs> Give me your hoagie. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Fucking the door, bitch! <laughs> now this is something that's always kind of Where's the radio? <laughs> right there. What the fuck? He gave her the radio, there's nothing in his hand, and then just radio in his, her hand. Boom! Magic. Um, the thing that always confused me about uh, this game is that um, when they first discovered that there were uh, zombies and they decided to run to the police station, Yeah. my question is why didn't they just uh, drive the car uh, back the way they came? Because they came in without any uh, hassle, so... Uh, obviously, if they just went back the way they came, they could have escaped. So you're asking, why didn't they just leave the town, right? Exactly. Well, then you wouldn't have Resident Evil 2 now, would you? <laughs> I guess so. So be quiet and enjoy what you've been given. <laughs> Dead Rising? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> oh, God, this is why you gotta maintain old places, or else people break their kneecaps. Hey, are you ready for this super exciting puzzle? I think we're done, aren't we? No, no. We have to move this to the right. Okay. And then this to the right, and okay. we're done. What did we do? Open the door. <laughs> what did it give us? A stone tablet, which we need to access the next part of the game. A stone tablet. What fucking century are we in? This isn't some Aztec shit. This is like, do they got computers? The red herb. Oh fuck! This is gonna make you go fucking crazy. This is gonna make you go berserk mode. So the red herb, uh, you combine that with the green herb, and it has the same effect as combining three green herbs, which is to fully heal you. So it's extremely potent, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but you need to combine the red herb with the green herb, or else it can't do anything. To them. To them. Alright, now he's done moaning about it. So, auto aim, that seems pretty pretty easy, I guess. You just have to find the bad guy and then bang, 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 bang. Yeah, I mean, there is uh, kind of like a bullet magnetism to this game anyway, so it's not too bad. But the auto aim, what it does is that it uh, locks your character uh, so that way they're already focusing on the enemy, so you don't have to, like, slowly turn your uh, body to face them. Wow. So. That's a fancy-ass ladder. 
All right, what are we getting out now? We're getting out them sweet bullets again, right? Oh, oh, yeah, oh. Because one of the tricks to this game is that if you combine bullets in your inventory, you don't have to do the reload animation. How long does that take? Probably like, six like half years, a second, right? but six uh, years. Half a second, but still, you don't want to do that when a zombie's uh, crawling up on when you. When he's raping you like this, oh my! But give you me a also... double tap. That's four. <laughs> double tap is confirmed not effective in Resident <laughs> Evil Two. You're in the caution zone. They've touched your booty one too many times. Yeah, so uh, Claire's now holding her side. So you can also <laughs> tell like how low you are uh, health wise based on uh, how much you're staying. What happens when you're staggered. in the red? You roll around on your side. And you scream no, but you're... every time you move. No, but <laughs> uh, uh, no, but uh, <laughs> you start limping. Duck. So it's uh, it's not uh, very beneficial. You, yeah, you can't run very fast and. You gotta smoke some of that green herb. <laughs> yes, actually, because we got the lighter now. Yes. That's, oh, that's all it took, eh? Just a little <laughs> bit of that sweet lighter action. No, we need the lighter to solve some puzzles, that's all. No, you don't. You need it to smoke that sweet chronic. <laughs> wow. Fantastic. So what happens when you smoke co or do some cocaine in this game? What happens then? <laughs> there is no cocaine. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that should give you, like, full health for the whole game. <laughs> Oh god, he sounds like Frankenstein. Oh, you so mean uh, Frankenstein's monster? No, nope, Frankenstein. <laughs> no, Frankenstein uh, uh, was the doctor who invented the exactly, monster. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Frankenstein. He's all alone, the castle is all stormy outside, and he's got Frankenstein's monster is Brad over there and he's like Ooh. oh by the way uh, all these uh, police officers that are already dead but not zombies oh what the fuck are the birds doing to you they're crows they just attack you they do like no damage so it's just best to ignore them look out that was but anyway the police officers if you check give them give you some of them sweet bullets yeah they give you some ammo I find that the best place to check is around their shoulder I don't, I don't know why it's there. Understand why that is even a thing. All right, down the stairs we go. Oh fuck, we're going down the stairs. Animation. This is different. <laughs> Very exciting. Okay, what are we gonna do with these bitches? Just run around them because uh, once we get the like one item that I want from uh, this area, we never have to come back here. These guys do not seem like very intimidating foes. Well, they're zombies. They just shuffle about. <laughs> mm. I do prefer dead space. <laughs> oh, speaking of dead space, I gotta whip out. Yeah, so there's a crossbow and the valve. I want the valve. The crossbow can go eat a bag of dicks. What's wrong with the crossbow? It's fucking awful. I hate it. It'll be fun. It just fucking. Do they go flying against the wall if you give them a good shot? No, it's basically Claire's version of the shotgun. And and that's why uh, uh -oh. it shows the animation, because you never know when a zombie's gonna come through. This is the first time I've seen something exciting happen after the door opened. <laughs> oh wait, now we're back to the boring door. Why? Use the fucking crossbow! Crossbow's garbage! No, you're garbage! Crossbows are great! anti zon Have you ever seen Daryl from The Walking Dead? He knows what it is. He no, but the problem with the crossbow is that um, it's Claire's version of the shotgun, except it doesn't have the same stopping power. And it doesn't do the same amount of damage, and it's just bad. I don't like using it. Oh, boohoo! The game gave me something to use, and I want it to be different. I don't <laughs> want to use the crossbow. I want to use the valve. <laughs> well, we need to use the valve anyway. Where's the valve? Oh, the valve was putting out the helicopter fire, conveniently located just next to the water tower. We're gonna extinguish the blaze. Ah, yes. But now, how are we gonna cook our barbecue tonight? Uh, I just use one of the zombies. No, the zombies do not are not on fire. Are there such thing as zombies that are on fire in this game? Yes. If we actually went down the hallway uh, where uh, the helicopter crashed through, we would have seen a couple of uh, flaming zombies. Flaming zombies. Those sound like fun. Do they give you a nice little dot if you're standing next to them? Nice little dot. Damn mm, little time no. application. Application on application. What about these crows? What are they doing right now? They should be zombie crows. No. Have you not seen the... Probably fucking... I don't even know which one it is anymore. The fifth? The third? The fourth? The sixth? 
Resident Evil where there's the zombie crows. Oh, it was the third oh, one. Oh, yeah, no one gives a fuck. Because <laughs> they're all shit. What is going on here? Is that a little girl? No, it was a stock sound effects screen. Why? Because we touched the hot helicopter? Uh, <laughs> no. Well, we'll find out later what it was, but... Spoiler alert, it was not that little girl. The ghost for. touched my booty! That's what happened. This game's pretty scary right now. Watch out, we got a crossbow, but we're never gonna use it. <laughs> we're an unstoppable force. So, through the diamond door again. Um, how many of the uh, Resident Evil movies did you see? All of them. All of them, what? except for the last one. The final chapter. Yeah, I don't even know how many they made. I stopped watching after the fourth one when they're in the prison. I don't know how many there are. Yeah, too many. All I want them to do is make a proper Silent Hill movie. That's what I want. I found uh, the first uh, Silent Hill to be alright. It, it was passable, but it just didn't cut it. It was pretty boring. There was a lot of stuff that I was just like, I wouldn't watch this movie. You know what's fucking cool? Mm -hmm. Beginning of the Silent Hill movie. You know where they filmed it? Uh, Devil's here. Punch Bowl. I do know that they filmed part of it here in Hamilton. Devil's Punch Bowl isn't Hamilton, you noob. <laughs> it's, oh, oh my well, god. Well, no, uh, they also filmed... Uh, I remember there's that one scene in the movie where she was hopping on uh, rebar or whatever, trying to get to the other side. Uh, that was filmed in, like, one of the old dilapidated uh, buildings in Hamilton. Nice! So, basically, Hamilton is Silent Hill. So, if anyone wants to come for the tourism sake, <laughs> it's a great place. Just there's a, I'll dress up for pier as Pyramid Head for 150 bucks. if you want that. Um, okay. actually, a cardboard uh, box on my head. I know a, a few fun facts about the Resident Evil movies, too. Well, kind of fun facts. Uh, I know that the second movie, like, half of it was shot in Hamilton. <laughs> Want to hear a fun fact about the Resident Evil movies? They suck ass! <laughs> that's fun. Well, that's besides the point. Ha <laughs> But, um... Shot in Hamilton. Yeah, I can even name some of the shots, too. Yeah, there's um, a lot of movies shot here. True story. Yeah, but, uh, because it's Hollywood, they always credit it as, uh, Toronto, because, uh, I guess it sounds more glamorous than that town that's outside of, uh, Toronto that wants to be Toronto, but never is. Listen. Oh, how do you know the code? Um, that file you that we played it too many times. <laughs> well, that, and also the, uh, file that we picked up on the other side of the, uh, uh, building in the first, uh, sort of... Wait, area. what did we just grab here? Something about acid? Acid rounds for the grenade launcher. Oh, what kind of crap do so? That doesn't exist! Nobody has acid rounds. This is just a game thing. Yeah, but they're the best grenade in the game. Yeah, they always are, too. <laughs> they're in dead space, they're in all kinds of shit, <laughs> but they don't, they're not real. Somebody make acid rounds and shoot them at a ballistic dummy and show me what that looks like. That'd be great. We'll have to see what that looks like. That would be fun. Sounds dangerous though. <laughs> what do you misfire that shit? <laughs> ah! I just melt your arm off. Terrible time. Um, Mix the herbs, smoke the herbs, success. Yeah, so. Uh, oh, this is a different that... door. Why am I only going through one? Oh, watch out. Anyway, there's like a gajillion zombies. Oh, is so this the, the acid rounds? No, that's the normal grenade round. Where are the fucking acid rounds? I save those for like the bosses and the liquors, just because they, they it basically melt. one shot. They something. literally <laughs> melt them. Get it? <laughs> um. Uh oh. Yeah, but anyway, um. So one of the shots was uh, in downtown Hampton in front of the Pizza Pizza over by uh, the Jackson Square Mall. Wow. Yeah, and I know that because... You eat there occasionally. I eat there all the day, every day. No. Um, That's the, why I The shot that they uh, did, um, uh, they actually got the Pizza Pizza in the background. And I guess because of uh, like legal reasons, what they did is that Instead of reshooting that scene, they just mirrored it. <laughs> they changed it to raccoon pizza. <laughs> no, they just mirrored the uh, the store so that way you, uh, it technically wasn't like pizza pizza per se. It was azap izap. Exactly. Wow. Class. Because uh, 
fucking uh, Paul W.S. Anderson is a filmmaking genius <laughs> like that. He's not very smart. Yeah, he's actually functionally <laughs> retarded. Yeah. What movies does he make other than the Resident Evil movies? He made Death Race, uh, the remake, which yeah. was awful. Yeah. He made Dead or Alive, uh, which was awful. Yeah. Um, he really likes video game movies. Yeah, he he's basically like a slightly better version of Uva Bowl because if only because Uva Bowl is like the absolute lowest standard you could possibly get for directors. Yeah, he's pretty low. He's made some classics though. Wow, with a resume like that, like man, I'd fucking hire him on the spot. Be <laughs> like, here, come over and direct this pile of shit. <laughs> He'll do great at it. You, Uri, that's his name. What a great, um, what a weird name. Who names the kid Uwe? Let's see. Also, there's that uh, graveyard scene in Resident Evil 2 uh, movie that was... With uh, the nemesis! Yeah, that was shot in Hamilton. And there's also a few shots that were, that were actually uh, shot in Toronto. Is there a nemesis in this game? No, no, no. That was the third one. Fuck! <laughs> Which was called Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. That's how you can remember it. Nem Resident Evil 2 Nemesis. Got it. Three nemesis. Shut up. <laughs> so you're basically telling me there's going to be a nemesis in this game. I There'll look never forward be a nemesis to it. In this game. I look forward to it. If I don't get my nemesis, I'm extremely disappointed. Well, I get disappointed because that's not this game. Listen. <laughs> Let me wallow in my sorrow until this game is done. Don't use the herbs. What are you doing? Smoke it. I have to rearrange all my shit because all my inventory is getting full. Well, this is a new problem. They want you to use it, man. Don't hoard. Don't be a hoarder. I don't need to use uh, healing items when I'm full on health. Listen. Listen, trash can. <laughs> There's a guy at work, and his nickname is uh, Trash Can. <laughs> Why? I don't know. There's another one. His name is Barnyard. His last name is Bernard, so he's been nicknamed Barnyard. Mm-hmm. Great nickname. There's another guy. His last name is Macaulay, and his not his nickname is Macaulay Flower. I don't know why, but the Golder guys that work, they fucking love this shit. It's like they're crack. Like he's like, "Hey, Macaulay Flower," and they're all like, <laughs> and they're all dying. They love it. Macaulay um, Flower. Yeah, I've only uh, 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 given a nickname to somebody like one time in my entire life, and it was more of like a a group thing because the whole class did it. Wow, peer pressured into it. Anyway, uh, what was the nickname? Mermaids. <laughs> Mermaids? It's not even that bad. Well, it is once I tell the story. <laughs> All right, let's hear mermaid. Okay, so back in college, uh, what happened was that one of the uh, sort of shitty classes that you have to take was for the electrical course that I did was um, like environmental, uh, like safety or some shit like that. And uh, for homework on the first week. Uh, the teacher said, okay, so for next week, if you guys happen to find any stories uh, concerning the environment, uh, bring them in and we will discuss them. Because it was a, a wash class, like, nobody gave a fuck, the teacher didn't even give a fuck. So anyway, uh, a few people did it, we discussed, uh, like, some, uh, like, oil spills and, like, some energy crisis stuff or whatever. And the one guy who got the nickname, uh, said... <laughs> oh my god. He said that, uh, yeah, so I read an article that said that uh, scientists have discovered mermaids exist. <laughs> and uh, everyone just looked at him fucking weird. This man didn't care, though. Yeah. That's not even a bad nickname. Yeah. Listen, you want to hear a great nickname? Chief Running Water. You want to know about Chief Running Water? Was he 164th uh, in nope. equity? Or First of all, it was a girl. <laughs> Second of all, Chief Running Water used to get super high on the fucking fire water, if you know what I mean. So, Chief Running... Wait, is fire water alcohol? Fire water must be I alcohol. I thought uh, fire water was, uh, like, bong uh, shit. Well, okay, so if it's bong shit, then it's bong shit. If I'm making a mistake and fire water is actually alcohol, it's bong shit. Anyway, so Chief Running Water used to get high as fuck. So the one day, Chief Running Water had, um, <laughs> was coming back to school. She had gone home for the day on the school bus or on the city bus during lunch. And she came back 
and she hopped off the city bus. She was super, super high, and she walked out in front of the city bus, got smoked by another bus, Ooh. and Chief Running Water proceeded to piss herself <laughs> as this happened. <laughs> so you can kind of piss together where Chief Running Water came from. <laughs> yep. Well, no, we just called uh, that guy mermaids because that was just so unbelievably... Uh, dumb that he just brought that up because it had nothing to do with anything. This music got way too fucking intense for what just happened. We killed like 30 zombies in this game and all of a sudden one black zombie shows up and it's, oh my god! <laughs> but Actually, no, uh, bro, this music's going nuts right now. Thinks you're in a boss fight or something. Nah, it's just uh, super scary what's going on. What's happening? We're leaving. We're leaving. <laughs> This door design is super terrifying. I feel like I'm entering into a TARDIS right now. It's bigger on the inside. <laughs> I like Claire's health bar. It says fine. That's definitely a girl's health bar in a game. How do you feel right now? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Leave me. Fine. I bet fucking, um, what's his name? Leon's health bar says fucking great. <laughs> That's that. And hers says fine. All of hers probably says fine. If she's just on the brink of death, she's like, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. 100%. That's what's going on with her. Alright, so we're back into our little cubby hole where we keep all our fucking weed and our guns. <laughs> yeah, so, uh... That area where we got the key uh, that was just past the, uh... The helicopter that was destroyed? Ah. Uh, that's where those jewels were supposed to go, so we get another key in that area. So keys, gonna... keys, more keys. We have guns that we can blow the doors open with, but we can't use them to blow open the doors because we only have to open them with the key. Exactly. You know what's funny? If movies were like video games, they'd be extremely boring. <laughs> it's just like, okay, we have to find the key to open this door. There's like 12 grown men and like three of them have guns and two have like a crowbars. And they're looking for the key and... Actually, uh, I, uh, wow. heard What's... some people, uh, dis kind of discussing that, uh, like, that kind of idea, and, uh, they men did mention the Silent Hill movie, that they had sort of, like, uh, a lot of that, uh, running from place to place, just trying to find, like, uh, the keys and the notes and stuff to figure out the next area. So that's probably why that movie was so boring. It was boring as fuck! Guy gets the exciting shit happening, you gotta, ch you know what I want? I just want Pyramid Head. You know what the... Okay, hold on. Are you ready for this? I'm going to blow your mind. And you'll actually be like, wow, I wish they did that. So you do you know what the original ending for the Silent Hill movie was supposed to be? Uh, oh, shit. What happened to her? She was the stock scream effect. Oh. Uh, oh. You know, like one of those uh, ah! uh, dolls that you poke and they uh, make the uh, voice box yeah. activate. Yeah. 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 He poked it one too many times and it's broken now. Just who are oh, you? Wow. No, don't bother telling me. It makes no You're difference. already dead. You'll end up just Oh like fuck. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her. But I failed miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin, nothing was short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. Choice A or B. I think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. But no longer. Please. I'd really like to be alone now. He oh. seems like a uh, well-stable guy. Ew, he wants to be alone with the corpse. <laughs> That's nasty. Oof. Wait, so what were we just talking about? I can't even remember. Uh, we were talking about the silent... Sign oh, movie. fuck. Okay, so you ready for this? Okay. You know what the... The, the ending of the first Silent Hill movie was supposed to be. You know, remember what happened in it? How there was the little girl and she got her revenge with all the barbed wire? Yeah. That was kind of lame, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So apparently what the actual final scene was supposed to be, but they didn't have the budget for it, which would have been fucking crazy. But see you supposed oh wait. Let me tell you little little shit. She's gonna bite you, be careful. So the actual I like how uh, every single person in this uh, game doesn't realize that the other person is a zombie until like after they announce that they're not a zombie. <laughs> Yeah, well, they need to because zombies are just look just like people. If you know what I mean? Except the fact that they're limping around, they have missing limbs. Listen, and three days a week, I'm basically a zombie. <laughs> Truth. Yeah. So, end of the Silent Hill movie. Apparently, she was supposed to come instead of having barbed wire and that weird stuff happen. Apparently, there's supposed to be like three pyramid heads come into the church and like barricade the door shut and just slaughter everybody. Hmm. That would've been fucking dynamite! Just come with a big knife and just like decapitate like five people at once and then one of them just comes and like rips person in half and- Or just purple nurples everybody to yeah. death. Oh yeah, that, that scene was dynamite. <laughs> Picks her up, rips off her clothes, fucking grabs her chest and rips her skin off. That was a cool scene. I like it. But yeah, so that would've been dynamite if like three of them came in. That would've been cool. What is it? Like, what kind of outfit is she wearing? It's kind of like a... A whore's outfit. She's <laughs> a whore. Claire, you whore. It's like a, a biker outfit. No, thing. it's not. It's a whore's outfit. <laughs> anyway, first aid spray. We don't need it because it's for suckers. She's a dirty skank. Oh, yeah, I also forgot to mention we're not picking up any of the ink ribbons and because we're not saving because saving's also for suckers. What is an ink ribbon? Um, well, you save in this game at typewriters, and Whoa. uh, I'm not saving at all because, as I said, it's for suckers. So wait, this is a one-run playthrough. Yep. How long did it take? About two hours. Well, that's not even that bad. Chief. Oh man, he took the uh. Where'd he uh, go? He took the body with him. Yeah, he's, he's got stuff for smashing it right now. Uh oh, what's behind here? He definitely looks like a guy with a shotgun, am I right? Nope. Oh, you just put the silver, the special stone in there, huh? Yeah. Mm. Mm. So, basically, uh, yeah. this diary is uh, just saying that uh, the chief is completely fucking insane. Nice. I would hope so. Whoever does taxidermy is a fucking nutcase. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're Gandhi or Mother Teresa. If you ever did taxidermy, you're fucking crazy. Oh, God. Oh, I thought the floor was going to get like... Have you heard about uh, what Mother Teresa was like actually like? Nope. Oh, it's uh, pretty not good. <laughs> pretty not good. Huh? Yeah. Um, ascent from what I've uh, sort of read and heard... Uh, apparently uh, what she would do is that a lot of the sort of missionaries that she'd open to help out people Yep She wouldn't actually help the people Nice So uh, she would just sort of let them uh, uh, suffer a bit because she felt that uh, that would allow her to be closer to God or something like that It was really weird Nice There's a Penn and Teller uh, bullshit episode on it <laughs> I like Pantar, they're cool guys. Yeah. Have you seen any of that show? Nope. It's actually pretty good, you should watch it. Watched a lot of their shit though, but the magic shit. Like magic. Magic is great. Anyone who says magic sucks is suck a dick. Don't you dare. Don't uh, but you it dare. is pretty amazing how they do it because they show you how they do the trick and yet they still manage to blow your mind doing the exact same thing. Sometimes. I'm quite proficient at understanding magic now. I have seen many, I've spent many, many hours trying to understand how people do. You know what fucking blows my mind? It's still sleight of hand. Sleight of hand is fucking crazy. People well, that's like entirely uh, what magic is based on. You have exactly. to do the sleight of hand. I understand the concepts behind all the tricks, but like seeing sleight of hand happen is like you gotta fucking know it inside out because like even the people that know how to do it. The really good ones, they'll they'll trick the most people. That's crazy. Oh, by the way, I found a uh, cord, and you can use it to either barricade this window or the uh, window that where we found that first liquor. Purpose of what? Uh, well, there's going to be a, a zombie raid that happens, and the one that isn't barricaded will get raided. Oh wow! The raid. Yeah, that's a good movie. 
Uh, that's the, uh, the Kung Fu Oh, one. fuck, it's a dog! <laughs> Bad boy! <laughs> Bad boy! <laughs> he just keeps on coming. Oh, my God. Stay! Stay! <laughs> dog. <laughs> Silly dog. This dog doesn't know when to stop. Okay, now he stopped. <laughs> okay, good. So, things, I, so, this, this game is interesting, because usually when you encounter new, oh, man, he's gonna touch your bomb! Oh, you got, oh, you got dog, yeah. a, dog a slap. The dogs uh, do, like, flying karate uh, kicks in your face. It's yeah, ridiculous. usually in games, when there's, like, a new enemy that gets introduced, usually they, like, make a big cutscene out of it now, and you get introduced to them, and like, okay. Yeah, it actually kind of ruins it for, like, survival horror reasons. Like, I actually found that the dog just sort of slowly walking into the view like that to be much more scarier. Hmm. At least my first time playing through this game. Because hmm. I've played through this game so many times, it's not even funny. Wow. I know this game better than I know my own mother. Wow. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> wow. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Alright, where are we going? Oh, we're going down the manhole! Yeah, down into the we sewers. She's got a dirty little manhole. It's got a lot of poo in it. Poo. All right. Anyway. You actually do need to go into this specific room just to activate the next cutscene, which is kind of silly, but at the same time, it's just like they yeah, want yeah. you to explore. I guess, but still, it's kind of silly. Oh my god! There's not enough room in my box for all my herbs. <laughs> There's never enough room for all my herbs. All right, cutscene time, baby. Where's the cuts? Oh god, shoot it! Are you ready for the best part of the game? Shoot it! Shoot it, it's gonna kill you! Shoot it! <laughs> oh, uh... Sherry doesn't have a gun. Shoot it, it's angry, it's gonna murder you! No, I don't wanna come! You don't wanna come to my armored van? I have lots of candy in there. Daddy. Daddy. Stupid. Come back. Why are you doing so stupid? Wait, Sherry. You're so stupid, alone. child. Sherry. Anyway, so now Sherry. we play as Sherry. Oh, fuck. Why? Why? This is stupid. I want a gun. <laughs> I want a gun. I don't want to be a little, little, little school girl or a little, 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 little skirt. Little little fucking pants. She doesn't even have pants. You get bit everywhere. There's no prote Oh god! Dog jumped her Oh fuck! <laughs> run! Yeah, this section sucks because the dogs actually run faster than Sherry, so they always catch up and eat her. They literally bit your butthole. Yeah. Does she have to smoke the weed too to get better? No, she does come uh, prepackaged with one first aid spray, but again, we're not using it because that's going to degrade our uh, ranking at the end, and I don't want that. I want to be the best. What's like an average ranking if you were to do this game normally? Like everything normal? Uh, well, if you know what you're doing, like, you like a solid uh, B? Like you get an A, but. Uh, how this game ranks is based on how many first aid sprays you used. How long you took and how many times you saved. So that's why I'm doing it under two hours, not saving and not using first aid sprays. Wow, that's good. Yeah, but if you do take over two and a half hours, then uh, uh, you get deducted a grade. You're going to the bees, baby. Where's daddy? Is he in the box? Nah. It's time for puzzles, huh? Yeah. Push the Sliding. box here. <laughs> Push the box there. Stand on this box. Stand on that box. Stand on all the boxes. <laughs> what a great fucking song. <laughs> Why? Why? What are you doing, bitch? Well, get you gotta uh, push that box over a bit so you can get that other box in. What? Yeah, see? 
just like that. Because what we did was that we created a bridge. Boy, are you going to flood this thing? Yeah. Actually. And oh, by the way, uh, that uh, animation of her uh, failing to get up, uh, that randomly happens, so... She's doing the stanky leg right now. <laughs> Clicky dicky! Oh, wow! That's nice. Those are really convenient boxes. They don't even float away. Indeed. And they and don't even sink when you walk on yeah. them. Welcome to Physics 101. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got the green key. It's that the club key. the meth key. No, club. Opens the meth cabinet. <laughs> She's a bad girl. Who is spanked? Don't do the meth. Oh no, the dogs are gonna get you. Fuck. Get out of there. Smack it. Take his bone away. Oh, he's gonna come <laughs> on you in the elevator. <laughs> Shit, you don't want him to come with you. He's gonna bite you. You're gonna get to the bottom you're gonna be dead. Oh, he's gone. Oof, that was lucky. Nah, he's being a good boy. He's staying up there. Help me! I'm too short. I'm a midget. Sherry, are you okay? Did you no. find your dad? Yes, you didn't I'm find okay. your dad, you liar. But hey. I couldn't find <laughs> Don't lie, lion's bad. But I did find something okay. else for you. Okay. Catch. Here. Throws it, goes down a drain. Here's another. Throws a grenade, immediately explodes. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Now, now, say no. Claire, I can't reach the ventilation hole anymore. There's but don't worry, what a I'll stupid bitch. There's literally fucking twelve things in there that you can help. <laughs> Holy! Well, it's all pre-rendered. She can't interact with them. Oh. I'd accept. Anyway, so. Uh, we managed to get the last key that we needed, as well as this grenade. Grenade. Or the. See, I find rounds. that extremely silly because you have clearly have a way to get up there, but this bitch is too dumb. It's like there's been times in Gears of War games when I've been like, they're like, "Oh, we have to get up to that platform," and I'm like, literally like in a, a, a farmhouse, and I walk by a ladder, and I'm like. Right there, that's my answer. But nope, we gotta fucking run around the whole city block and kill 4,000 monsters. But I can't pick up this ladder. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I think that's a good point for us to stop for now. Doors! So, the game! <laughs> what did you think so far? I told you, doors the game. <laughs> Three quarters of what we just did was walk through doors. Well, the other third of the game, smoking the ganji. And avoiding rabid animals and drunk rapists. Well, it's a good start. <laughs> to be fair, the ganja is pretty good shit. Mm. See you all next time, everybody. Bye! Bye.